truth tellers, we're truth seekers. We go for the evidence and the facts. Oh, come on. Yeah, why would anybody distrust or criticize the press? It's not like they're constantly caught lying, manipulating audio and video footage, or blatantly coordinating with one party over the other. And it's not like Christiana Anaman Poor thinks that it's appropriate for the FBI to silence critics of Hillary Clinton. And surely it's completely different when a truth seeking protector of democracy like Christiana Manpour links Fox News to terrorism in New Zealand. Uh, one second, folks. Hello. Yeah. All of those things are true. Uh, uh. <laughs> Yes, it's true. The election of Donald Trump has exposed more than a few Orwellian, tyrant wannabe fake journalists, and Christiana Anaman Poor is a great example. Jeez, how many more times am I going to have to say her name? During an interview yesterday with fellow Democrat operative Chanel Jones, both pretend journalists bemoan the growing distrust and criticism of the media. In typical fashion, these people operate in their media-created alternate reality where nobody remembers the constant string of exposed deception and outright fake news stories that have been exposed. Their prime operative seems to be never admitting that they're wrong, or at least never admitting that their political partisanship might be getting in the way of their reporting. You're watching an era in which life for journalists becomes tougher and tougher, more and more dangerous. We are truth tellers, we're truth seekers. Tougher and tougher, you people seem to be getting lazier and lazier while also losing any ability for self-awareness. You protect each other, you never admit your biases, and you focus all rage towards your competitors at Fox News. She complains that her job is getting more dangerous, yet does she think that maybe she's putting Fox News reporters in danger by making such absurd claims? Take a look at the evidence she uses to link Fox News to New Zealand. Sky News Australia, which where they've effectively recreated Fox News during prime time and are pushing the same sort of anti-immigrant sentiments, you know, that we see here in the United States. And then Amanpour says, well, I mean, look, I have to, you know, point out right now that the danger of this kind of activity, because this Sky After Dark program that you're talking about, I mean, one could say, well, look what happened. It was an Australian who went to New Zealand and massacred 50 people in two mosques. Anti-immigrant? Don't you mean anti-illegal immigrant? So right off the bat, we see deception being used by Anmanpour. Her rationale appears to be that Sky News in Australia gives a voice to people who are against mass immigration. This just boils down to her equating opposing points of view to terrorism. I'm sure that's not putting anybody at Fox News in danger. What about the violence committed by Antifa? Their targets, people like Ben Shapiro, are also targets of CNN, MSNBC, and all the leftist news. Or the Democrat that opened fire at a GOP baseball game almost killing Steve Scalise. Who incited him to attack? Could it have anything to do with the never-ending demonization of anybody who opposes the left? Truth tellers, we're truth seekers. We go for the evidence and the facts. You claim to be truth seekers and that you just go for the facts, yet none of your coverage is ever very critical of Democrats and instead seems to always be focused on demonizing the opposition both to you and the Democrats. If it were true that people like Anmanpour were truth seekers, they wouldn't constantly fall for these stories that just reinforce their political beliefs. The Smollett story, the Covington story, these are two high profile examples that everybody knows about at this point, but there are daily smaller examples that they never answer for. There's a great website called newsbusters.org. I highly recommend you check it out. They've been documenting the media's lies for decades now. The last two videos I did are great examples where they deceptively edit footage and they create an entire narrative based on that edit. How about when NBC edited audio in order to incite racial tensions? Or when they perpetuated the hands up don't shoot lie which led to officers being targeted and killed. Never mind all the destruction and death that resulted from the riots that they incited. And through all of this and more, they sit there and pretend as if they couldn't possibly need to do any reflection. This whole notion of fake news, I don't know why it bothers me so much. It this whole notion of fake news, I don't know why it bothers me so much. <laughs> they are literally describing themselves and why I do what I do. They are corrosive and destructive to this country. They keep us divided with omitted facts, spun narratives, political partisanship, and racial fear mongering. What they're really doing here is rationalizing and talking about how they silence their opposition. They decry fake news, yet Amanpour herself attacks her fellow media peers at Fox News as fake news. 
When Obama was president, the White House had an actual strategy of demonizing Fox News and the media dutifully did their part to help. This same woman who claims to be a protector of democracy just interviewed James Comey and asked him why he didn't silence critics of Hillary Clinton. That's the kind of people we're dealing with here. The good news is I think we're breaking through and making progress. I see fewer and fewer people who defend the media. Hey, thanks for watching. It's super important that you like, share, and subscribe. If you liked that parody at the beginning, make sure to check out the full video on SJG Perspectives channel when he releases it later this week. I just asked him for it yesterday and he whipped it up in under 24 hours. It's a great example of what YouTube creators working together can do to help each other out and that's what I'm trying to do with my Discord channel. If you're interested in joining us, simply download Discord and click the link in the description or the pinned comment. If you enjoy this content and you want to help me continue improving this channel, please consider supporting me on PayPal, Patreon, or Subscribestar. Many of you have stepped up and supported me and it's been a huge help and it's the only reason I've been able to continue doing this. I need your support to keep this channel growing, especially with the 2020 election coming up. Thank you.